the lingering snow showers, maybe a little drizzle here or there possible on and off throughout the rest of the day. Most of that is pretty light though. A lot drier by midweek before we continue that warm up. In fact, after a little dip tomorrow, temperatures really start to climb towards the end of the work week, but we're also going to have some showers return by then too. Here are a few of those showers. Obviously light here is the keyword out of those. If you're in the mountains, I'd say they're coming down a little harder, especially the Green Mountains, Adirondacks. A few inches by the end of the day, still possible there. But if you uh, zoom in here, obviously just a little bit of rain down towards Middlebury, uh, right along the southern portions of Lake Champlain, and then you get up into the mountains. And again, it's that little bit of snow. Here is some of that snow showing up in Jay Peak. No surprise there that it's coming down pretty good. Lots of clouds, falling snow here. And I do think the Northeast Kingdom, Green Mountains, Adirondacks, like I mentioned, do end up with another inch to maybe even up to three or four inches in some of the higher terrain between the rest between now and the rest of the day uh, of that snow as it will be a little steadier and a little more intense in the higher elevations. The rest of us, a little bit of that rain mixing in, no surprise because temperatures are nice and warm. Burlington 40 degrees, same with Plattsburgh 37 in Hyde Park, 34 in Derby, 35 in Waitsfield, 41 along the Connecticut River Valley. We really have not seen much of a change compared to earlier this morning. A lot of that is that wind that's kind of pulling in the warmer air. However, this wind will eventually shift a little bit later this evening with a weak front kind of dipping in from the north. The wind is being uh, prompted by some of that or by that cold front rather. So a little gusty out there when sustained around 5 to 15 miles per hour and it will be throughout the rest of the day. Here's that wind eventually out of the northwest. We'll have temperatures dipping a little bit. So where we are now is about where we will level off through the next few hours and then you get a little bit of a drop not only tonight but into tomorrow too. And like I mentioned that cold front not only prompting the wind but a few more of those snow showers too. We've got a few tastes of those already here. Adirondacks, Green Mountain, stretching on up into the Northeast Kingdom through the rest of the evening hours and potentially even overnight tonight going to get most of that snow like I mentioned a few inches while just another dusting here or there in the lower elevations in localized areas at the very very most. Other than that, we're drying up behind that front. Temperatures do dip a little bit for your Tuesday, but we have a little bit of sun coming back out at times in between a few of those lingering clouds. I think overall nice but cool March afternoon for Tuesday. Wednesday, nice and dry to start, but watch as some clouds do increase in the evening hours. And I do think we'll find a few stray a little mixed showers arriving mostly overnight Wednesday and into early Thursday. Obviously, as you can see here, not a huge impact on our area, but something worth mentioning. Other than that, we are, like I also mentioned, a lot drier by the middle of the work week after today and some of those uh, conditions start to dry up a little bit for Tuesday, most of Wednesday. There's that dip in temperatures behind tonight's weak boundary that puts us in the 30s for a high tomorrow, back up to 40 on Wednesday after a chilly morning. And then on Thursday, only continues to get warmer. We'll be up near 50 by then with clouds that'll be on the increase. Leads us to some rain showers, kind of on and off the majority of your Friday, but we're going to be in the 50s. Some of us may even be flirting with 60. And then temperatures drop throughout Saturday, bringing some light snow showers on the tail end of that system.